What's going on guys? I'm Andrew Cards here and today I got another mentalism card trick. So many of you guys might be wondering where's my pack of cards to be able to do this mentalism trick. Well, before I can start the mentalism trick, I have to pull out my cell phone and we have to do a couple of things on there first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unlock my cell phone and open it up into these calculator applications, which I already have up. And what we're going to do is we're going to start asking the spectator to list off some numbers for me. And the uh, first thing I'm going to have them do is list a number from 1 to 1,000. And they're going to give me a pretty big number generally. Let's say they want the number uh, 789. So 789. And then we'll multiply that by, let's say, their birth year. So let's say their birth year is 1999. Just like so. And then we'll multiply that by another number. Let's say they want their birth month, which mine happens to be 8. So we'll multiply that by times 8. And then from there we'll have them tell us their graduation year, which mine happens to be 2017. So we'll go ahead and we'll multiply that by 2017, and we'll hit equals, and it gives us a fairly large number. And that happens to be 78,539,028. But what does this number have any relevance to our trick? Well, we're gonna take this calculator and we'll just set it in my phone, my, my pocket right now, just like so, and we'll leave it in there until the end of the trick. And in my right pocket over here, I have a pack of cards. And this is where the mentalism part comes in. So we're going to open up my pack of cards. And here we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just give the deck a couple of cuts. Just like so. And that'll be perfectly fine. But what we need to do is figure out what that number has any relevance to. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have you riffle down the pack right about here. We'll flip over the cards. Alright, completely fair. No breaks. And we'll do it one more time. Maybe till there flip all those cards over. So now we have a random assortment of face-up cards to face up down. But the first card you stop me at is this card right here. And with any luck, it might just have our prediction number on it. And if you guys want to see the tutorial, please stick around for that. I'll see ya. Alright, so if you guys did not already know this, this card is pre-planted, and so is the number. The number will always turn out to be the number you want it to be, no matter what happens. And in this case, my number is the same on this card, it's my prediction number. And the way to set up this trick is you're going to get a card, like a joker, something you don't care about, and write your prediction number across the top of it somewhere, and put it inside of a deck of cards. And I'll tell you what to do with that prediction card later. But first thing we need to do is set up our phone. Now. In order for this trick to work, you're going to want a calculator that when you type and do another problem, it'll change up here. You don't see any history of what's going on. You don't want to show like 8 times 5 up here. You want to see the 8, and then when you do times the 5, you want to just see the number 5. And that's it, okay? So, the reason this doesn't work, if we were to go to my calculator app right now, here it is. And look at this, we have 5 times 8. That does not work. You do not want your phone to show this. So that's why I went to the App Store and downloaded my other app, this one. So now, is that the correct app? Doesn't look like it. No, it's this one. <laughs> this one right here. See, I had to go through a couple of trials. But when you do this, you're going to want to first set up your number. So mine happens to be 78,539,028. So, what you're going to do to set it up is do times 1 plus 0. Now, it looks like the calculator is cleared, even though, in reality, what's going to happen is whatever number you type after this, it sees it as 7, your, your prediction number, times 1 plus 0 times that gigantic number that you're going to get. And 0 times anything is 0, so it's going to add that to your original number, which means 0 plus your original number is your original number. So to demonstrate this, we'll just use like times 5. We get a 5. And this is where you want to kind of keep the calculator away from you. Because if you show them the next operation times anything, it'll show a 0. Because 5 times 0 is 0. So you're going to do your uh, next number, like 6 times, and then say 555. Show them the 555. Do your rest of your operations. And when you click equals, it'll be your prediction number. That's pretty awesome, but how do we integrate that into a card trick? Well, the first thing you need is your prediction card that I talked about earlier. Here it is. And what you're going to do is place that directly on the top of the pack of cards. And from there, you're going to give it a false cut, just like so, keeping your prediction number on top. 
and then you're going to force them the prediction card. In this case, I should have done this, but I should have spread through the cards and showed all the cards and then like kept a block up here before showing my prediction card. And then I could have gone into the force, which is just a, uh, a very simple riffle force, which you're going to ripple down, flip half of the cards from where they stop, riffle further, flip over those cards, and then naturally the first card that is face down is going to be the top card, which is where you're going to break it off and show them the final reveal. It's their card, the uh, prediction card. If you guys like this type of tricks or anything like that, please let me know down in the comments, and I will be sure to post more videos like this in the future. So I hope you guys like this trick, and I'll see you next video. Peace out.